So in Python, dictionaries are the collection of unordered data as similar to the sets, right? Why I'm saying similar? Because in the dictionary also you will have the curly braces to store the values and uh, <laughs> it's a kind of an unordered collection, okay? And each item or each element, whatever you will be writing in your dictionary will have a key value pair that we call as KVP, okay? That is key value pair. I'll show you so what I'm saying is in Python. Dictionary are a collection unordered data. And each item of a dictionary has a KB. <coughs> That is key value pair. Okay, so what did this key value pair states? This states that in your dictionary you will be having a key. And that key will be having some particular values, right? So how to create a dictionary? Uh, you just create it by writing the curly braces. That's all, right? And the points which are to be remembered while uh, dealing with the dictionary is that, see, uh, so the first point you can say is like, key must not duplicate okay so you can duplicate the values but not the keys indexing will be done using whatever you will be doing you will be doing using your keys so here your keys will be like your index numbers 0 1 2 so you'll not be doing here, 0 and all those okay all right so let's create dictionary what i said you will be having keys and values so there is one key, put a colon, give a value 1 to it. There is another key, who is there? So there is another key, so there will be another Just wait for a minute, someone is getting Okay. So this is the key Two similarly, this will be having a value two. Okay, so key one with a value one, key two with a value two. Why I'm saying this keys will not be a same because that should not be same. 
if it would have been the same the values would be replaced right so if you write key 1 value 1 and then again you if you write key 1 as value 2 so when you print your key 1 you will be getting a value 2 not a value 1 there okay so that is the difference why i'm saying the keys will not be the same right so this is just a kind of um, taking and let's just see what is your d1 so if you see your d1 it will be like key 1 uh, value 1 key 2 and value 2 okay and the type 2 it is a dictionary okay now now see guys uh, this key how to index the things how to index out the things there right so just giving one index value and you can get to it just i'm saying that i want to print d1 what is the value stored in the key one or b1 it says the value one is stored in the key one okay that is i'll going through the indexing part don't worry for that he's having problem i think So similarly, let's create a dictionary now. Okay. Now your dictionary elements can have anything like for the number, tuple, list, and so on. Right? It can have any of the things. So let's start with creating our dictionary. And this is the most important topic in this Python programming because with this you generate your data, you generate a file, you generate everything with the help of a dictionary you can do. That is very much important. You go with the graphs and all of the things, right? So creating dictionaries. Okay. Coming up to the creating uh, creation of the dictionaries. Now creation of dictionaries is like as I said, you you just write the key and value. Now to take some real time values or problems, so how will it take that? Let's say I'm making a dictionary of some companies, right? So let's say this is companies. Now what could be my key and what could be my value, right? So let's say I'm taking for the examinations of the companies. Exams of the companies, what they organize. Okay, so let's say this is Microsoft. So they organize various kind of examinations like for the MTA. Right? They organize Is your examinations specialized examinations are there? Okay, so they organize a lot of. So let it be a list of whatever he has given. Similarly, uh, let's take about IB. So they do organize a lot of course contents examinations, like say. Uh, for the Python for data science, right? Let's say for um, Python for data science, uh, let's say for cloud computing. Let's say for deep learning. Uh, they also, uh, let's say, take some different company, let's say, take about HP. So, HP organized examinations, kind of, it is name as HP ECOC. Okay. Uh, they organize examinations in robotics and embedded systems. Okay. They have examinations in 
artificial intelligence they have attended the machine learning also they also have this in machine learning and so on okay so what you made is a kind of an exams offered by some companies right so when you see your exams it will be like this as similar as you have it okay now to find out the keys if you have a lot of uh, contents in your dictionary and you want to find out the keys of that right you want to find out the keys of them so what you will make is to get the keys of the dictionaries so you use dot keys function okay that is you write your uh, exams you write the keys function and you will get the keys of your dictionary that is the microsoft ipm and the hp understood these are my keys this is how you write down things similarly to get out the values you'll be using exams dot values and your values are now Microsoft as your specialized Python cloud computing deep deep learning robotics embedded and artificial intelligence machine learning these are the uh, values of the exams right now to see a combined value of this uh, keys and values one at a time we use something called as items there we write items so this gives you microsoft is having mta as your specialized ibm is having this all and this hp is having this all and so on right so you get a specialized view or kind of you can say item view okay now see this was a, a kind of seeing your uh, keys and the values and the items now how to index through these things how to get the values so let's say want to access the element from the dictionaries right so what we have to do is we have to uh, take a bracket there as whatever you want write your dictionary names put a bracket and then write the key name of what key value you are expecting of. so let's say if i write for hp it says uh, in hp there we have three kind of examination that is robotics and embedded artificial intelligence machine learning okay. i have taken only three right there are a lot of examinations here similarly to get this we have another method called as get okay that is a new method now for you guys that is dot get So dot get is nothing but you write your dictionary name dot get and then you write the key name again that is NHP. so it will get you the keys uh, values of that dictionary okay 
So this get method returns none if any of the keys is not found. Let's say if I write so this will not return anything. Okay, if you just print it, you will get a none result because the key is not found okay so if the key is not found you will getting a non result from the get function that's easy right now while you want to change and add some elements in your dictionaries so changing and uh, adding some values to a dictionary so you see dictionaries are mutable okay you can just change we can add new items or we can just change the values of existing items to the updating or ex uh, existing or by using the assignment operators okay so if uh, a key is already present then the existing value will be updated if you are just writing on the things okay if it is present it will be updated and in case it is not present a new key and value will be generated to the dictionary Understood? how let's say so we have exams right so we have exams there and let's say this exams exams of EC Council is equal to Cryptography and the CCNA and all about that, right? So exams of this you have given. Now when you see your exams please you'll be getting easy counsel as well. And you can get the value of that you can just write on exams dot get the value of ec council so it said there's cryptography and ccna okay so this is how you can just write on things in the dictionaries and that is very important it seems to be very easy right but this is very complex when you go with the complexity when you increase the complexity with all these things it goes on increasing how i'll uh, show you how it happens okay so this is a kind uh, you have written now let's say we want to uh, do some iterations or uh, we want to go with the loop structures of the dictionaries okay so when we go with the loop structure small topic very important so loop will dictionary will automatically go with the uh, uh, say the keys okay. let's say that you are saying that for x in a dictionary of examinations okay let's say for x in the in exams you want to print exams of x now what will be printed out the values right that the exams of x now x in exams will be your keys so exams of keys will give you the values of particular one similarly you can find for x in exams print x so what is your x x are your keys so if you write exams of x or exams of keys so you'll be getting every time the values right and meanwhile you can write for x comma y 
in exams I can print Expected to okay. Yeah, I'll see it. So you can get this by the items only. So this will give you a view of item that is your a key and the value at a time. Okay, so here you'll be getting the keys and the values at a time. Similarly, as we did in the items, you can do so for the keys also. Therefore, I am uh, exams dot keys. In the value of I, so you can get your keys. Similarly for i in exams dot values. In the value of i, so you'll be getting the values. This is how you go for the looping structures in this things, right? So then we go on <coughs> iterating over the things. Similarly, there are some of the methods in the dictionaries to work on, right? Let's say you want to remove something from the dictionaries. You want to remove anything. So that is particularly term as deleting. Okay. So removing elements from a dictionary. So there you come up with some of the method like pop, pop item, clear, delete and all those. Okay, so we can remove a particular item by using the pop method, right? Here, pop will not remove the last element. Okay, everywhere in that uh, till the sets, the pop was removing the last element, right? But here, the pop will not remove the last element. There, we have another function called as pop item because see what happens pop removes the last item, right? Here, what happens if I want to remove the last item? So, what is my item? Item is my the keys and the values both so I have to remove the keys also and their values also okay so for that what I have to use is pop item so that would be uh, deleting the particular item or deleting the keys and the values at a time okay so let's see with the pop let's say you have a list of numbers or let's say you have a List of squares of numbers. Let's study of that. So one square one, two square four, three square nine, four sixteen, okay. So these are the squares. If I want to see my uh, values, no, sorry, keys. So you can just write on that. So it's one to eight, and so does the value will be there, right? So now let's say I want to remove something. 
I'm going to remove some of the elements from this. So let's say I want to remove this using this pop. I was saying that remove the fifth one. Okay, remove the fifth one. So it says 25 has been removed, right? So what I have done is I have removed the fifth key and the fifth key was having a value of 25 which also has been removed. If you see your squares, you will not see 5 there. If you see your SQAR, yes. You will not see 5 there. Similarly, you can use it for the pop item. So pop item will remove the last element automatically. Not last. That will just remove an arbitrary uh, element. Okay. So if you write. If you write like this and run this, it says 864 has been removed. That is, the 8 was the key and 64 was the value has been removed. You can specify your things too. Okay. Similarly, there is another uh, method called as clear, where you just clear on your dictionaries. Okay. So there you just write on squares dot clear. And now when you print your squares you will be getting a blank dictionary. Now this is a blank dictionary, right? Okay, in case of set, there would have been a return of set and this occurred this is there. So this is a blank dictionary. Now since it is blank, I am not going to work with it, so I will be deleting it. And after deleting, you never go on printing these things, right? Because you will be getting a uh, kind of just error. Mm -hmm. Errors there. Anyone ask something? Want to ask anyone? Is there any way to get the details back once you delete? Uh, no. Undo function. Once I okay. delete, uh, only the option is that I will have to run this cell again. So once okay. if I if I run this, this will come again. Many of the times user will be deleting by mistake. Yes. So the better option is that whenever you create one dictionary, you create a copy of that and then you work on the copy one. So that the original file would okay. not affect it. So once your cop everything is uh, worked on on the dictionary, then you can just delete the original one and keep the copy one. It, that can be done for avoiding the user error because once I delete, uh, so that has been deleted from everywhere, and I can get the IDs of where it has been stored right for the SQR. Yes. So this is the ID particularly. So that location of the area where it has been stored. Similarly, there are different methods, uh, more like the copy and all what I have seen. So let's say SQ is equals to squares dot copy. So here you'll be getting a uh, copy of this square dictionary. And then you can do well, whatever you want with this. You can do with the squares also. So going with a copy one and then working on it is a better idea. Okay, so these are the things which we do with in the dictionary and then we can write on. Okay. Similarly, you have methods in the dictionary called as update. So update will just update anything. What do you write there? Right? How uh, as similar to the set? Let's say uh, you have this dictionary of squares, right? Uh, let's say you have written sq2 and your sq2 is having 9, 81, 10 as the hundred. All right, you want s1 to update the values of s2. sq, you want sq to update the values of sq2 and then you print your sq so you can see the updations has been done there 9 and 10 has been added this is what update works on how okay now to see some real times 
real time things right so uh, you can just print on the values of a user to get on how much value how much marks he has got in some particular things right you can assign the values to this and then you can just print his data let's say there is a student whose marks are like in maths let's say yes go in the maths the mathematics is good 98 the science is so 95 and english in english he has a good graphing let's say 97 so what next comes social science so this is let's say 87 and computer science for the computer science say cup 99 there okay so what you did is uh, you have created a dictionary of uh, several marks of a student and of different subjects so if you want to see the subjects or like if you want to just print on the uh, marks so what you will do is you will be printing sd so you'll be getting the mathematics 98, science 95, English 97 and this uh, kind of you see the marks right okay you can see it very uh, clearly now you can also find in which of the thing he has got he has got the maximum marks right so you can just write on the statements and then you can uh, print what is so anyone can tell me if i want to find the maximum marks there how to find that if i want to print in which subject he has got the maximum marks yes can anyone tell there any any uh anything you can tell write anything let's see what you say how can I get the marks, uh, maximum marks just by writing something there? Mm -hmm. See, see. Okay, take your time, but try to apply some logic. How to get the maximum marks? How could I get that maximum marks from these things? I'll be using some functions, max function, okay, others are uh, giving max, but where? What I should write? The maximum of this ST. This is social science. So, S social science having the maximum value? I see no. So max is absolutely correct, but only one thing, one parameter you have to write that you want to get the data from the, oh, sorry, 
So you have to get out with this data. It says computer science. You have done nothing. That is, you have searched for the maximum values in the student marks, and you have said p to get the student. That is the max of the values of the keys. Okay. So which key is having a maximum value? That will be the not the maximum key. Okay. That will be a max. Here we found the maximum key uh, keys. Uh, that is your ASCII code has been represented there. Here I mean to find the values of that keys. What are the maximum values in some particular keys? So this is the. Point. Similarly, you can get out for the minimum marks also. There you will be writing the minimum. Okay. Suppose if you write value, so that will be an invalid keyword. Okay. Because every time you will be searching for key, that is important, right? So social science is having the minimum marks, but if you were search for the ASCII codes, social science will be having a highest one. Okay, because there are S, there are O, and some occurrence of letters which comes at the last, right? And that for too many times, the cat back. Uh, it's a uppercase S, it's a lowercase S. So these are having itself a high ASCII codes. So let's see if we can iterate the things in a loop. If we can just run on the things to find out the. So in what happens? See, in this dictionary we have one method called a CMP. Okay. CMP stands for comparing the items, but it is not working in Python two. Uh, sorry, Python three. It is not working in Python three. The CMP will compare the items of two dictionaries. So in Python three it is not available. In Python two you can do it. Okay, so it has not been updated there. Now you can see uh, this. I will let you see about how nested dictionary works on. And what is the nested dictionary? Is nothing but a dictionary within a dictionary. Okay, and this nested dictionary is very important to start up with the. Uh, you can say to make some. Datas, right? So uh, let's make some real-time datas. Let me take out some last real-time data. Let's say I'm taking the cricketers' data. List of cricketers in ODI table is not been generated. No. So I'll have to do one by one. Let's take out for which now. Statistics. So I'm just building one table for ESPN click and four. Okay, let's see about test matches. Whoa, that's a huge one. But see, guys, you can build this whole thing in your dictionary with the help of your dictionary. You can build this whole thing. Okay, so that is what I am saying. That dictionary is very important. We can build this whole thing with the help of dictionary. How? So let me click a pick of that, and then we'll start working with this. Okay, done. 
Now you can see there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 parameters. That's good. So it's going to be a good task to do this. Similarly, you can go for the one day internationals. You'll be getting one, I think, more good data. Yes, there are something more. <coughs> okay, fine. So, uh, how can you make these data now? Okay, there is a module, uh, sorry, library called as Pandas. Okay, so we'll not be learning that Pandas. Okay, uh, just I will show you a glance of how you can make. So before that, what you have to do is you have to create some nested dictionaries. Okay. Now, so now we are going to create a nested dictionary, and that this particular might take. And with the help of this only, you can make your projects. Okay. So nested dictionary will only take now. Let's see. So your time is now 9:48, right? So if we go on building this, let's say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I can see around 20 or 30 rows there and 15 columns that is 30 cross 15 you can write down here so some 450 values I have to input okay that's good but after the input I'll see a good data from there okay so see We'll start it there. So I'll name it as what the name was. The this is an HTML, obviously. Uh, what is the name? It's batting average of current players in One Day International of India. Okay. So let it be. This was batting average for every player. batting average of Indian players okay now you are supposed to make a dictionary first let's clear these things you will have to see it very clearly because it's very important to work with the dictionary parts so let's say okay, my tab is not working one second hold on Working now. Fine. So, first of all, we'll try to make the players. Okay. First of all, the first thing is to make the players and their data. Right. So, who will be my players? So, I can see the first one here is. Where is this? So here the first player is M A Agrawal. All right. So M A Agrawal. And there are some particular columns, right? So this is this will be a dictionary of M A Agrawal, right? This will be a dictionary of M A Agrawal, and no the one thing create a dictionary of players first
okay so who are my players who will be my players so I am saying my players will be M A Agarwal then we have R Ashwin Similarly, there is JJ Bumra. Alright, that's interesting to work on with real time projects. Yes, Dhawan, there. R A J D J. Okay, five names there. Let's give it enter. KD Karthik Virat Kohli KD Karthik Virat Kohli Kudi Kata Bhamashani S Naveen Ajaj Pandya He's playing still. Okay. He should not. Ishan. Rohit Sharma. Why? I don't know his his name is uh, G also. Aji Sharma looking everywhere. PP Shaw. So Boni is been isn't playing now, right? Okay, SN Thakur GH Bihari M Vijay and the last is UT Yadav. Why is this Gopneshwar is not being there? Which year's data is this? Includes players from the best past. What is the most recent one? The past year. Okay. Skiving. ICC ranking. Okay, India comes in third. That's good. Can make this one also. That is also good. ODI Championship. So, this will be your projects to build on. You will be writing this. You will be creating this. Take your time. Take whole day and make this data. Yeah, okay, let's see for now. So, these are my players, right? Okay. Now, Now I'll be focusing on to build my span. That is for how much time they have been playing on. Okay. So this is from 2018 to 
one second. Okay, yeah. So span is 2018 to 2020, 2011 to 2020. This is good. Then is 2018 to 2020. Thirteen, eighteen. How many data? One, two, three, four, five. One, two. Let's leave some gaps. Uh, I will be confused here. One, two, three, four. Uh, 2012 to 2020. Two thousand four, two thousand eighteen, next eleven twenty, seventeen nineteen. Thirteen twenty nineteen nineteen. Thirteen twenty nineteen nineteen. Okay. Fourteen twenty nineteen nineteen. Okay. He paid only for one year. It's bad. Seventeen eighteen eighteen twenty. Seventeen okay. eighteen. In twenty ten twenty thirteen twenty ten twenty thirteen twenty. So for the first time, you will have to do a bit of like you call as uh, hard work, right? Then you will get your good data. That is very nice. And then you can transform your data to any formats there. We'll see now. 2019 there, uh, 13, 20, 14, 19, 10, 19. 14, 19, 19. So it will take some time, then it's good. 10, 19, 7, 20, 13, 19. 720, who is this? Ishan Sharma, alright. It's playing a long time. Uh, 1890. 1820. 1818. He was also for the one year. P. P. Shaw. Who is this? I didn't know. Okay, now P. P. Shaw was for 1828. 20, 18, 18 has been done, right? So, Vihari, Vijay, and Yadav left. 1820, 
818 so these are their playing spans all okay, right a lot of data there it's nice so you can make a good view of a data how you just write the things you can make a good view of those things so that you don't go with the mismatch of any kind of data right so one two three four you can write nadim's also there that, that is a good habit if you maintain a uh, good way to write on the data everything would be clear and that would be helping you if you get any kind of errors in your program you can distinguish how many data you have and how much you have written you can find 1 2 three, four, five columns. Right. I said that this one by one. to thinking why i'm doing this because it will when you work with large data right let it be more than five data and something around now as you saw that we are working with 450 inputs so you have to be very clear with your data any time you can get any errors that is not like you don't will not be getting errors so you have to be very sure not to get engaged with errors so to avoid these errors i'm doing this so that i would be clear what i have written okay it's looking good now fine so this is how the procedures when you make a data when you submit any projects to any company this is how you make it there so keep a habit of doing this now let's take about the matches they have played okay mat stands for i think for the matches it would be there for the matches so these are now numbers these are 11 71 You can write thirty-two, four, one, nine, sixty-one, forty-six, and like that. Okay. So one, two, three, four. I think I have haven't missed anything. That's okay. So now turns come for the next column. This is innings. That's okay. That will have numerical values. That is a good thing. So innings seventeen ninety eight twenty one. Seventeen ninety eight twenty one. Fifty eight seventy one. 
Okay, 1, 45, 6, 64, here could be a change, 64, 1, 18, 22, 28, 9, 60 where it has gone 50 Next is NO. What this NO stands for? I don't know. Okay. Uh, it could be NO. <laughs> Alright. So this is 0, 13, 10, 1. 18, 10, 1, 1, 18, 1, no, 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 1, 18, 1, 10, Two nine forty three seven two nine forty three seven four times one and twenty two one run. Next is your runs. Oh no, there are a lot of. Meanwhile, you can also fill with me and write with me because the sun is writing slowly. HS. I think this is highest score. Someone is also having his highest score as one. One, okay, one is not out there. 
So one map up. Okay, good. Okay, one ninety nine. It's bad. So this is an average score. Average score is 57 27.29 28.10 2.90 40.61 45.26 45.0 53.62 8.50 7.29 this is having no values, so man. This is a blank one, no values are there. 8.76 so wherever you get now a blank value you can give a dash or you can just write a, a none there, there you'll be getting none values Eight point three seven, forty six point fifty four, what are there? Fifty five point eighty three. Uh, again, a non value thirty six point eighty, thirty eight point twenty eight, and eleven point thirty three. Okay. So you can see how we make datas. These are nested dictionaries. Why? Because uh, we can see there is one dictionary, one uh, value for that, and there are some several multiple keys uh, happening there, and that multiple keys are having a lot of multiple values. So that is what called it as uh, nested one. Okay. Okay, so H is now highest score has been done, average has been done. I think this is BF, there might be uh, something. So, let this BFs are quite good. You can see 1740. One two five five two might be this must be real actually really there I think one sixty one six forty seven five seven twenty one one eight seven and let's go with that one one eight seven one two six four four eight four zero zero three five five three two seven two zero two double four three six one three three eighty eight twelve one one five four eight six zero one
1154 done and what next was from where is 1154 uh, yeah 8601 and then 682 okay good no none values here let's write this next county strike rates this is a good one so strike rates are 56.81 and 20.00 70.88 68.57 46.18 50.03 56.45 45.51 30.30 59.25 86.34 33.33 and 49.85 so you can see this is a tough work to manage first of all to collect data right that is why okay we are left with one two three four five columns only with the five one now we are good at a good speed so hardly it will take some seven to eight minutes that's all a hundred we have three okay this will be less four zero seven one one eighty seven zero This was the hundreds. Similarly, there are fifty. So So 50s are 4, 11, 0, 1, 3, 0, 4, Then there are what are this zero? What is zero? What this zero stands for? Okay, this zero, four, six, four. Okay, how many times they have made zero? Six four 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 ten two thirteen zero ten two thirteen zero two one seven six two one seven six there is one more six triple six thirty one four double zero one eight and six 
six. Then that is false. Sixteen two seventy three eight sixteen one seventy nine one thirty four eight one one six fifty zero sixty eight eighty three six nine one four seven five two thirty seven one one nine eighty one two hundred sixty Two hundred and sixteen forty eight zero seventy four four sixty seven thirty two and the last column now six. So we need to fourteen zero. Twelve fifty four twenty two zero twenty zero zero twelve nineteen fourteen twenty nine fourteen twelve zero fifty two four eight two two <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, completed. So <clears throat> these are your kind of things in your data. Uh, let's see if none has been skipped. So create it. That's good. So this is your proper data now, guys. Okay, I think more than fifteen minutes I would have been taken. So this was your data of now what this is what I made from this one. Uh, let's see for the back. Uh, yes, from this batting averages. So I made this data from this one. Okay, this was this is my data now, and we have all these things, right? So what you can see is you can just write on your uh, bat average. That is your bat average dot keys so what are your keys <clears throat> so you have columns as players span mat innings number grants uh, highest run uh, so it could be highest score average and batting what is i don't know strength rate and all those so similarly this one two three and all these you can see here also player span and all these things right so we'll build the same right but you, when you see your data when you see your values here when you write the values of this you'll be getting something different now a lot of data so this is your data but still of a uh, very less one right so what is the length of your dictionary what is the length of your dictionary that is your length of your keys how many lengths so 15 uh, players are there okay that is 15 players list are there this has this is 15 only 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 I go with all those things, I think. I've written for all of them, I think. Uh, this is not that data. This is not that. We go for the test matches, right? What is that hybrid? There was no Dubai and all. Yeah, this was all data. One. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 20, 20. Uh, Still, it's having some lot of things. Why I'm getting only 15. 
Okay, my keys are 15, not 15, sorry. So I'm having 15 columns there. That is unnecessary. Okay. Fine. So how to get the data of these things, right? Uh, so I'll be checking out like how many players I'm having uh, in my ODI series or uh, test matches. So how many players are there? So for that, uh, basically I'll be just passing out the values of players. So these are the players. What are these are the players? So we have a Makarwal and all these things in our players, right? So what I was saying that with this dictionary, what you can do is there is a module called as pandas. This is not in your uh, course contents, but still uh, just giving an overview to that. So this is a test match, right? Errors must be of same length. There might be some something as an error. Okay. Hmm. Let's see which one is having error. That I was saying. Some values might would have script. So for x in batsman dot. Print the length of batsman x. Let's see which is having value 28. It's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. One is having 28. So batsman of 8. This is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. This is having more than the values. Some 5 values extra is the same. Let me check. It's 57.29, 28.10, 2.90, 4.6, 1.45, 1.45. and no value, none. So, that none should be also given. So, we're going to be doing 38. 48.66, where these values came? 42.88, I think I am repeating this. And somewhere I, am, I have repeated this. 34.58 has been done right after then it's this has been repeated out after this this has been a repetition Thirty six point eight zero or thirty eight point two eight and okay. Okay, there is one in that index. Done. Let's see if now if the values are same or not. So everything twenty three put now it will be created. Again, still it's saying it is not be of same length. Okay, let's do one thing. This none is having no values, right? So let's give it some values. Still, we are having others. Length are same. Hmm. 
any particular okay there is 122 from downloads 1 2 3 and 4 1 2 3 and 4 50 is having some missing values 4 11 0 5 14 7 22 0 1 0 4 2 25 22. That was a missing value. I think now it is clear. Twenty three, twenty three, twenty three, twenty three. Yeah, done. Done. Cool. Now I'll just bring out the test match. So you can see the data now, right? That is after a long time of working. Now I have uh, given this data, right? I can see these things exactly the same as here what we have. Only the colors difference are there. And the rest of thing you can see there it's same. Okay. This is the whole data what you have generated your players, the span time, the, ma the matches, the innings, the number of uh, anything, whatever it would be, the runs, highest uh, scores, and all those things, right? Exactly the same. And you can even get this data in your hard drive. Like, uh, see what you can do is uh, see uh, when you make this, this is important for you when you work with the dictionary, you just write uh, import pandas, don't go with these things, right? I'll be discussing in the later because. The import pandas and they make a data frame of that data frame that is uh, only the kind you are making of uh, uh, you can say a data sheet okay uh, just a tabular data sheet so you have made this now what you can do is you can even make this to csv and excel whatever you want you can make this in excel also csv also let's keep uh, so i'm making in csv i'm saying this is uh what is this this is the batted average Indian players. So, Indian, this is the Indian players batting average and dot CSV. Run this. So, what you can see is this will be stored inside your Indian players pattern and this is your dry folder and you can just download this one and then it will be just like a downloaded one and you can open this show in finder and you can open this with the uh, any kind right for the excel and all those so excel is this so we'll wait for a moment and we'll see there So this is your data you are getting right so that places where an empty spaces this two are the, there were two empty spaces this okay so this is your data you can even make a colorful form from here and you can just work with your data as in the excel so you write your programs convert this in excel files and there are a lot of things you can convert on right you can also convert this to a json file okay so there are things you can convert this to so you can convert to a uh, feather excel dictionary you can convert it directly to this dictionary right how uh, i'll make you see how you load a data and then you can make it into a dictionary how you can see i'll uh, get to you for that also you can make in numpy there are a lot of things uh, to work on timestamp array transpose and uh, let's say it would be an html so you always know right for creating one a column or five columns and five rows in HTML it will take around around almost 20 to 25 minutes however the best you are in typing that doesn't matter but it will take some time right so for building these much time kind of things so let's say 
this is the same copy paste HTML that's all right so now you can see in HTML you can find out an as an HTML sheet of a data are you see right this is how exactly you find and then you can modify the things and all those you can do it there right so let's say that I have uh, I have a data and I want to upload that let's say uh, you have an Excel sheet with you let's say so I'll look to see whether I'm having any Excel sheet here so I must be having there in AI. Okay. So let's say I'm having an Excel sheet, uh, the kind of titanic data. So and I'm just uploading this and done there, right? So titanic.csv. So what we can do here also, we can just write down that this is a TI and this is titanic. Not you can just load the data first don't, don't go with these things what I am doing now don't go for the logic of this okay so if you can see on that is nothing but the sum of the passengers and list of the data we are having for the Titan data set okay see what I am doing is uh, you can convert to dictionaries the data from Excel to the dictionaries and you can like name this can just give a name to that and you will be getting a that so let's say this is tf equals to this now you can write on tf dot keys so you will be getting individual keys of the column names like for the passenger survive p class name and all those things right so that is important if you run your tf you could see on the values that is passenger is having zero one and all those things a lot because this is having 891 date uh, columns of data so that is a lot of things the names and okay that is what you can do so if you just want to check what are the names of the passengers who were traveling there so that can be done with the dictionaries and a lot of things are there so these are these were the names of the passengers there were some 891 890 passengers and every passenger name is given there right so that is what you can do with the uh, help of dictionaries so this is a kind of an nested dictionary you can work with your uh, just uh, so if i just want to see what is the value of this particular one and right this uh, player what is the score of this hardik pandya and all over the uh, innings what are his score right so i'll just be printing like uh, what is his that is your best match uh, just start with printing the Tenth one, so uh, key error is there. So it says Hardik Pandya has been uh, playing from 17 and 18 and matches 11 innings and that. And these are the things we do with right. So that is data manipulation. You don't go with that. So your focus is to make a nested dictionary of what you can make. Okay. So from here only the things of uh, like for the artificial intelligence data science and machine learning all these things start itself from the dictionary factors so i hope dictionary must be clear to you uh, 